Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. Inspired Flights has uh, secured quite a bit of money in funding. We'll talk about Enzu Robotics version 3.8, which is out. Also, Japanese drone maker ACSL is releasing new stuff. And then also pricing leak for the DJI Mini 5 Pro. Let's get to it. And first up this week, American manufacturer Inspired Flight Technologies has raised $12 million in Series A funding. The investment was led by Tri-Value Ventures and is aimed to accelerate new product releases, but more importantly, scaling up the company's uh, manufacturing in the United States. Now, Inspired Flight is known for the NDA compliant and blue UAS certified platforms like the IF-1200, that's a hexacopter, and then the IF-800, which is called a Tomcat. Now, these drones are used by government agencies and then also the, in the commercial sector for everything from mapping to inspections to public safety. Uh, as you know, it takes a lot of time and a lot of money in order to build the manufacturing capabilities. And so I think this is a great step in the right direction for them. Next up, Henzu Robotics has introduced version 3.8 for the Raptor series. Now the update introduces augmented reality overlays that include street names and then also custom airspace. Also included in the update are some bug fixes. We have map layer customization and then other map upgrades as well. Uh, good to see that these drones are constantly getting updated. Good job to the team at Enzo. And before we get into the last story, this is your last chance to join us at Commercial UAV Expo, which is next week, starting on Tuesday. Well, starting on Monday, really, for us to set up. Pilot Institute is hosting three separate workshops, and I want you to be there. On Tuesday, you can join Vic Moss, Amy Wigan, and Jared Janasek, and then also myself, for a deep dive into the regulation, technology, and then some business strategies that are shaping the future of the drone industry. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to be personally teaching a workshop on how to build your drone business. And then on Thursday, we have Jared that will be teaching his professional mapping process. Uh, spots for each day are limited. Actually, for the Wednesday presentation, the workshop, there's only three spots left. And uh, they are filling up, as you know, pretty quickly. Uh, you can go to pilotinstitute.com CUAV to see all of the details and then to get your own seat. Next up, another company is stepping up to provide more NDA compliant options for professional pilots who need them. This is ACSL, which is Japan's top manufacturer, and they announced a new smart controller, an upgraded uh, thermal payload, and then a partnership with uh, Teledyne Flare. Now, first is the new Titan uh, smart controller. It's an NDA compliant remote with a seven inch integrated display that boasts 1500 nits of brightness and then a IP54 ingress protection rating as well. The company also enhanced enhance their uh, current payload, which is now ITAR free, and then features the new Teledyne FLIR uh, Hadron 640R camera module. Uh, the payload has a dual sensor system, which is a 64 megapixel optical camera on one side that has a 20x zoom, and then the 640 by 512 boson radiometric thermal camera. ACSL says that it will also support FLIR's MSX uh, fusion technology by the end of the year, which overlays the visual details onto the thermal image for better situational awareness. It's good to know that there is more choices out there for NDA compliant gear, uh, for public safety agencies and then infrastructure companies that are required to have the compliance. Uh, more competition, as you know, is always good for innovation and then it benefits all of us. And then finally, a European online store allegedly listed the DJI Mini 5 Pro Fly More Combo with the RC2 controller for 1,129 euros. Uh, this is interestingly the same price as the current Mini 4 Pro Fly More Combo. Uh, you're getting a one inch, potentially, potentially, allegedly, you're getting the, a, a one inch sensor and then LiDAR uh, obstacle avoidance for the same price. It seems like to be a pretty good deal. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if that's true or not. Uh, leak accessory prices are also seem to be in line with the current models. Uh, but with all these details and even the folding animation video surfacing, rumors are pointing to a mid-September release. Uh, we'll keep you updated on this. Obviously, we still don't know if it's going to make it to the United States, but at this stage, it might not actually happen. And on Post Flight, which is the weekly show in the premium community, we are going to be giving our opinion on all of these stories, but also a couple that have not made the cut, uh, including a cool new drone from the UK that flies like an owl 
and then also talking about Commercial UAV Expo. And that's it for you this week. If you're going to Commercial UAV Expo, check out the booth, come and see, uh, come and say hi. We're on the main aisle to the left. You can't really miss us. We're going to be front and center. And then we'll see you uh, next week for another news update. There is no live on Monday. So just remember that, no live on Monday. We'll see you on next Friday. Secret story this week that was not dropped in news update is, I'm going to quote exactly what's written in the script. Hmm. A cool drone from the UK that flies like an owl. Is that what it said in the script? We'll be pretty close. <laughs> There's, who is saying this, Greg? The owl. Who? Who is saying this? <laughs> Jason, tell us about this. And how does an owl fly differently than any other bird? Mm -hmm.